American Solar Challenge is a continuation of solar car races that have been happening in the United States for a long time. It's almost 2,400 miles from Chicago to Los Angeles, and it traces what used to be Route 66. Stopping every night wherever we get at 6 o'clock. The race rules require us to stop at 6 o'clock, so where we are is where we stop, and we'll camp there for the night. We have a very diverse group here from all sorts of majors, not only engineering majors, but people from the College of Arts and Sciences. I think that's an asset to us. And then I think the second asset is just the fantastic engineering background that UMR gives its students. But I guess two things that I really like about Solar Car are, one, the hands-on experience. And the other thing that I like about it is it exposes me to a lot of things that I really don't get a chance to work with and practice as an engineer things on the business side of the project and the public relations side of the project that ordinarily as an aerospace engineering student I would never have to worry about. I think it's going fine. We're kind of last minute getting it together here. We got five cars that are all very fast and I think one of us five will win. I'm not sure who it'll be right now. I hope it's us. We are 28 minutes and 15 seconds behind the leader. Guys need to be lined up by 8.35 where you get bumped. Okay. How many minutes we got? 15 no, minutes. The other controller. Oh, the controller. Yeah, yeah. Other controller's out. All right, flip it up. Right side up. All right. Mm -hmm. guys. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to put another one in there. I went to a camp intro to engineering. And I, I knew about the team and their success and, and how hard they worked and stuff like that before I came. So after the, the camp activities were over every night, the first night I, I went by the shop and the door was up. And I walked in and uh, I asked, hey, is this where they build the solar car? And they're like, yeah, yeah. Oh, can I come in and watch? Yeah, sure. Well, do you want to work? Oh, yeah, yeah, I want to work. So they put some sandpaper in my hand and I got started. And then, you know, I went back to high school with that always in my mind. And when I made the decision to come to Rolla, I knew it was something I had to do. better and there's no sense in carrying dirt down the road either. I do what needs to be done basically. If they need some tubes cut, if they need to you know, help make the chassis, lay some panels up, I, I'll do that. I've gotten to navigate, which has been great, except when we made a couple wrong turns. But they weren't major. Um, um, steep, we, they it, come to a full stop, it starts going up the hill. they make a left turn, and then they immediately start up this 6% oh, wow. grade. American Solar Challenge 2003. They beat that record by a little over five hours, I believe. Just an incredibly fast car. Um, yep, your hats off to the Rolla team. Bragging rights. I know 50 years from now, if I ever have grandchildren, uh, I'm going to tell them, when I was your age, I built a car that run off the sun and I went from Chicago to London.